he's trash. Trash person, trash fighter, trash boxer, no swag, no technique, stiff as a board, and I'm gonna slap him up every chance I get. Every time I see him, I'm going after him. You can't just come in bare knuckle and think you're gonna make an easy check. In order to get in, you gotta get through me. They're gonna let me bang. Bro, let's go! Sometimes I just look back and watch and just see how far I've come and the progress I've been making over the last few years. You know, especially this last, this last year, honestly, I've made a lot of progress, man. And I um, got the biggest fight of my life coming up with, uh, you know, Platinum P. So. I'm just focused, man, and uh, trying to get the best training. That's why I'm here in Vegas, Fight Capital Gym. I mean, I live in Florida. I love Florida vibes, but sometimes, you know, you gotta you gotta get away from when you're doing camp, man, so you can just focus on yourself, man. And Vegas is that place. So where are we heading off to? Uh, we're gonna stop by the the old training facility when I was uh, on the Ultimate Fighter. I wasn't always like that guy that would fuck you up. You know what I mean? I was at, at like a lot of people picked on me when I was young. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I didn't fit in, man. I was a guy that didn't fit in with nobody, man, because I look different than everybody. They don't know what I am. You're like, well, he's not one of us. He's not one of us either. You know, be I'm, I'm mixed. You know, I got biracial. I'm biracial, so I have my dad's black. I have Native American. I'm Irish, German. A lot, a lot of different things man a lot of different uh ethnicities so it was kind of like i kind of just took what i could get when it came to friends man but those were the real ones you know what i mean mm -hmm. the real ones will find you i wonder if they got anything going on in here now these are the old stomping grounds right here you know uh, this was the old uh ufc training center this was it man like the feeling, like, it brings back so many memories, man, being here, like, this was, like, a big part of my life, man, that, like, you see, I'm, like, even getting emotional just trying to even think of what I'm saying, gonna say, you know what I mean? Because it's, like, it's it's just a feeling that I had, like, this changed my life, man. Like, you know, this was a big part of my journey, and it's something that not everybody, nobody, like, barely anybody get to experience it, you know what I mean? Like, 16 guys get to experience that shit. A lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of pranks, you know? I remember, um, uh, Team Dillashaw stuffed our, our, our locker room full of fuck full of snakes. I was, I just waltzed into the, to the dressing room one day, and, and I just, like, all these people are just, there's, like, four people that are, and they were crazy looking. I'm just like, who the fuck are these people? And they're just looking at me, staring at me. And next thing you know, I, like, look down at my feet, and I got a big-ass python right in front of me. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, that's the type of shit that went down here, man. You know? It was an amazing experience, man. The Let Me Bang, bro. Uh, episode from the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, it just really gave me a, a ton of haters, and and that's that's kind of what built this whole fucking let me bang. You know what I mean? Like if if it wasn't for the haters, bro, that would that that wouldn't be my name. You know what I mean? Because it was something that was I don't like to watch. I'm sure a lot of people love to watch it, like because it's funny. But you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it was it was something that I wasn't. I wasn't happy about, and over the uh, last few years, I've, I've, I've learned to embrace it, man, because, like, everywhere I go, people shout, let me bang. That's like saying, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, that's my name. So it's like every, I just, I just started to embrace it, man, because there's no way I can get away from it, man, and I might as well just use it to my advantage now, and I'm loving it. gonna post up let you guys see from the outside this is the ultimate fighter redemption house man this is big big part of the journey man these are the these are the grounds that we walked on man for ultimate fighter redemption you know the house is huge it's very beautiful inside man and like i said it's an inspiration just living in something like this and knowing like 
it's possible to have something like this in life. You know, you work hard enough and you'll get something. You'll get something that's amazing, man. A win against Mike Pierre definitely is going, it's going to put me in that, that, that higher tax bracket. You know what I mean? That's where I want to be at. I'm, I'm trying to get paid the most money I can make. And, you know, that's only going to happen fighting the top fighters. And being Mike Perry has, I'm not saying he's a top fighter, he's a shit fighter, but he's got a lot of followers. So, you know, the way the world works these days, man, you got you to gotta have that following. And I don't like this fucking guy. You know what I mean? And you can't just come in bare knuckle and think you're going to make an easy check. In order to get in, you gotta get through me. From Orlando, Florida, Latna, Mike Perry! There we go. Mike go for the cross. Oh, overhand right there by Perry. Really uncomfortable for Michael Seals under the chin. Nice right uppercut by Perry. Look at Perry go. He's just swinging this. It is Perry who's the stronger of the two to end the fight. Yeah, and Perry's throwing the uppercuts in between as well and connecting with it. Look at this fight. They're going oh! to the They're letting the leather fight. Michael Seals and Mike Perry. Are you serious? Oh, what a fight. Yeah, yeah they're, they're both good now. They, they can't win no. anymore. My When the boss man told me a while ago, I was at one of the Paige Van Zandt press conferences. We want to check it out. Well, we It'll be a great out. experience. No, I really appreciate the experience. Thanks, and, You're uh, like it, trust me. You see it in person, you hold it tomorrow. Yeah, who knows? Pay by the future, go. Just literally finished. And he was like, Mike, I think you're in the wrong sport. And I was like, uh, I disagree. Keep going, yeah, just turn, turn. Move forward, Paige, keep moving forward. Load that left. But I was just trying to get him to pay me more to come here. So it worked, I think. And uh, you know, now I'm here and I'm ready to shine. I'm ready at all times. You know what's crazy? Like, okay, so people see Mike as Mike, right? Wild man, you see him like that. Mike is a cool cat, you know what I mean? He's so, before, Mike wasn't humble. You know, Mike was wild. Mike, you couldn't tell Mike nothing. Mike had his baby boy, and I think that changed him. You know, I think he became a, a, a grown, pure grown man. You know, he, his, his maturity went through the roof because now he has responsibility. And that right there alone, you know, Mike is a completely different person. If I ask Mike to be here at a certain time, he's here on time. No questions asked. If he can't make it, he gives me a, w a big notice to let me know he's not going to make it. And he's always pushing himself, asking for more. You know, some people continue down a road that keeps failing them. They, they bang their head against the wall and they never change anything. What drove you to, you know, want to live a better life? Man, probably, uh you know, banging your head against the wall and realizing that the wall's gonna win that, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's my son, my son, man. Um, my family, my son, my girl, my baby, my dog. Life is full of adversity, but it's, I live for it. And I have to take care of things. I have to take care of my family. They need me and I'll do whatever I have to do to provide for them. You know, I have to lead by example and hold my head high every time knowing that I did my best. I will do my best again and again and again every time, refuse to lose. A lot of people told me, Mike ain't gonna listen to you. Mike, you know, Mike wanna do his own thing, but nah, it's completely different. You just gotta know how to train Mike. You know, you gotta let Mike do Mike. You can't change Mike's style. You can't change anything. You can help him and give him small details of things to do to add on, but you can't completely change his game. You can't. Mike's gonna do Mike, you know, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta honor that. The exciting thing is anything can happen in this sport and uh, uh, two big names, you know, Mike Perry and Julian Lane. And uh, I think it, it's meant to be two big guys, strong, crazy motherfuckers that wanna go all out and, and I appreciate that. Two crazy guys, you know, one of them is gonna, 
It's gonna go down. We don't know. It's the. Yeah, yeah. That was my Bellator debut, man. He knocked this guy out in 96 seconds of the first round, and he was the number one contender. And I was high. You know, I think he and was like seven and zero or something like that. Yeah. This is, this is what got us into. That's what got me on the Ultimate Fighter. Ultimate Fighter. That win right there put me in the Ultimate Fighter. And this is his little brother. Well, he ain't so little anymore. He's probably yeah. bigger than me, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hope this is my champ. Heck yeah, man. And besides, you know, besides pops, I got my like I said, my mom too, man. Oh yeah. You know. Love my mama. She, she my number one fan. You know what I mean? Oh, like, man. like that was why. Like I said, I was literally walking out to a fight one time, and it was a pro fight. And I'm, I'm walking out to the to the cage to fight, and my mom's fucking smacked this dude across the face, and she's talking shit to him. And I'm like, mom, what the fuck? I'm walking out to my fight. Like I'm literally like yeah. grabbing her and holding her as I'm walking to the cage to fight, man. Like. When I was, that's like, that's where I get, get the, I think that's where I get the loose cannon from, you know what I mean? Tell me about bare knuckle. Other guys shy away from it. I feel like you're definitely one of the guys who, who, who's a real fighter. What's Just up, you being buddy? here what says that all the way, you know what I mean? What's up, fucking busy. Hey, hey, hey. Can, can we do that? You know, he tries to, he, I get what he's doing. Cause he did it already with that little BS, that, that stunt that he pulled, you know. Um, he was behind the guardrail. And the first thing he did when I got up on my seat was he backed up. He backed up and was like, oh, oh wow. He's like actually coming after me. So he's going to do that in the fight. He ain't going to come forward. And his boxing is trash. He's trash. Trash person, trash fighter, trash boxer. No swag, no technique, stiff as a board. And I'm going to bust his face apart. He said I backed up, OK, because I it caught me off guard. I mean, I walked up. I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do, honestly. I was just went, I, I'm just walking out. Oh, that's Perry, OK, well. Let's go. Let's 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 approach this guy because he's done seen me. He done seen me all night walking up and down these bleachers and all up and down this floor, and he ain't said a word to me. So, you know, I was like, well, there he is. Here's my chance to break the ice. Let's go see what he's about. I step back so I can, you know, what I mean, I, I'm I'm aware, man. Like I'm not just gonna let you walk up and and just sucker punch me. You know what I mean? Like sucker punch and. Like Platinum Sucker Punch Perry or whatever the fuck. All right, we'll see who's backing up in the fight, though. You know what I mean? I'm sure he's taking his drugs, his steroids, or whatever he's doing, how he went from 155 to 175, whatever he's got to do. Ah, let's go, Platinum Pussy! What the fuck you up, you little pussy? Go play the son of a bitch! Ah, ah, ah. Yes, let's go! So let's go test it out. Let's go see what the hell I'm made of. I can't wait. Mm. For a fair opportunity. Yeah. No guardrails in between us. Just open space and then I'm gonna pop his ass and the ref's gonna step right in. Look, Look at L now. I was born for this and um, you know, Julian Lane was born to get knocked out. Simple as that. Julian gave me a little taste of what there, what, what there is to come, a little motivation. I think I gave him stitches in his mouth, man. Like, that was the motivation I needed to, because I'm fighting this bum in my eyes. So it's like, was I ever really gonna train hard? Every day I get to think about, oh, okay. He got my lip once. Okay. I better, I better make sure that when I show up, I'm, uh, I'm way too prepared for him to even come close to. He's not even half of what Tiago Alves is. They've always brung me in to lose. You know what I mean? And, and I'm the upset king, bro. We're gonna call it like fucking Ali and Liston. You understand? First man of the first round, Mike Perry's going down. I'm one of the guys in the world who can be very angry 
and not fight like I'm angry. I'm gonna touch him up. I'm gonna touch him whenever I want. Uh, fake him out. We'll see if he ever comes forward at all. I'm gonna knock him out at weigh-ins if he tries to get close to me, if he tries to do his little dumb bum shit where he puts his forehead down and tries to walk into you. He got no respect for the sport, no humility as a person, and I'm gonna slap him up every chance I get. Every time I see him, I'm going after him. You won't see words from me like there is right now. The cameras are here, nobody else is here. It's just me and the camera, I'm here to talk. But when it comes time and I see him, every time I see him, I'm going at his throat. They're gonna let me bang. Bro, let's go!